Doctor, I think maybe we need to contextualize the issue a little bit in terms of a national development kind of framework. Uh, in a democracy, we obviously a lot of the times talk about, you know, the majority and what access and opportunities and of mobility they have to. And a lot of the times people argue that indigenous communities are marginalized. Within the democracy of Namibia, why is it so important uh, for the president to go out there and familiarize himself with, with the status quo of what's happening in indigenous communities? Why is that important for our democracy? Now, Patrick, let me say first that the president, President Haki Kainkop, mm -hmm. he cares deeply about the well-being of each and every Namibian. And we all know by now that the president has said at several occasions that no one should, left, should be left behind. So that goes for everybody, uh, not just for the indigenous and the marginalized communities. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would really like to f focus on the purpose of the outreach of mm -hmm. the president or to, to, to Chumkwe. Mm -hmm. um, what I would like to say up front is that the president has indicated at various occasions that it's important for him and for his cabinet to familiarize themselves with local conditions mm. in Namibia. I think this, this is a very important message uh, because it's only when we are aware of our local conditions that mm -hmm. we can come up with plans that will respond to the objectives that we have set for ourselves. Okay. You will also recall that the president has declared war on poverty, mm -hmm. has said that we should industrialize, uh, would like to see more jobs being created, uh, and would like to see income disparities uh, being reduced. So, so for that reason, the president has initiated a familiarization mm. visits. And it's, it's, it's not only the president, I must also say mm. it, uh, it's, 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 a, it's the top four of the Namibian government that's going on these familiarization visits across Namibia. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just explain how it's working. Mm -hmm. The president mm. decided in his particular case that his first visit should be to Chumkwe. And one of the reasons for it is because Chumkwe has been classified by the National Planning Commission as the second most uh, poorest community in Namibia, the other one being Epupa in the Northeast. So how the top four have divided themselves is that the president went to Chumkwe, but very soon the vice president will go to Epupa, and the prime minister will go to one of the north, northern uh, constituencies uh, closer to Osekati, uh, and the deputy prime minister will go to the south. Mm -hmm. I must say that you know each of them will also select constituencies that, for a start, that, that are more deprived of development. And they will be accompanied by, by ministers mm -hmm. and also deputy ministers. Mm -hmm. In the case of the president, he was accompanied by four cabinet ministers and also two deputy ministers.